Hola. Let's go to the skies. Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Welcome on in. It is time for part three of Cloud Punk. Where we left it, we were still hearing Cora threatening to do stuff, and we have to make a choice apparently. And and now we've picked up a robot who's trying to think he's hung. Oh, we're going to go pick up. Of a robot who thinks he's Humphrey Bogart. But we do also have to try and get some fuel. Between bashing the car about the place. Because <laughs> of course it is. I like cash, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know my, my security code. Thankfully. There's our parking spot around here. Well, it's going to have to be uh, because this is where he is. Oh, I see we run across to it. Oh, I see. Okay. pick up some stuff while we're here because we can there's going to be some bits over there it's money above us hey what, patchwork please stop i need your help i'm sorry i can't just one moment i know i look monstrous no you don't no you don't i'm just really busy Making deliveries, I know. That's why I need your help. They call me Patchwork. You need to call my company if you want a delivery. I can't take on jobs from people on the street. I can pay you. No one else will help me. People scream. I'm not the 18. The children are frightened. They tell stories about me. About the freak. Really? 
There are plenty of androids back in the Eastern Peninsula that want to wear dermis but can't keep it in good repair. I thought I was in dead in there. Such a thing is seen as an abomination. Unclean. Unclean. Dermis is expensive. Do you, do you ever consider just living as an android? Never. I don't feel like an android. My body feels wrong. I want to have skin, to breathe, to feel, to sweat, to touch people without them recoiling. I understand. What do you want from me? It's not I can't leave this be. alleyway. They run from me. Corpsec would fine me for causing a scene. I need Dermis. I can only buy from less reputable sources. You want me to buy you black market skin cells? No, no way. way. <laughs> I can pay you well. As a human, it is not even illegal for you. Only androids are forbidden from buying from unofficial vendors. I'm sorry, you need to find someone else. There is no one else. I have been like this for a week. I will not live like this. I cannot. How far do I need to go? Just two blocks over. Here is the money. You can keep half. Fine. What is his name? Greppo. He stands on the corner. A thin mustache. He is hard to miss. And what is your name? I told you. They call me Patchwork. What is your name? Pete. I would like to be called Pete. I'll do what I can, Pete. I mean, at least he's not that far. We're gonna, we're gonna help him, you know. Greppo. It's me. Keep moving, sick. What? I'm not corpse sec. <laughs> sure you ain't. I don't have anything for you. Not for me. Dermis. I need it for a friend. Oh. <laughs> the skin job found someone to come out and play. How is Batchworth, man? His name is Pete. Pete? Who's he fooling? He's a Batchworth man. With the wobbly jelly eyes and the flesh hanging off him like he's skin meat. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what they say about him? The Patchworth man loves to see the smiles on kids' faces. That's why he wears them over his own. <laughs> Just give me the dermis. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Tell Patchwork I said hi. That freak. Asshole. It's like, I should bury you, son. If you went up to me and said, what's up? I would say, my boot in your ass. I can't believe you have to deal with that Greppo guy. Did you get the dermis? Yeah, it's just a vial with some liquid. That's right. The cells are microscopic, but they grow and renew. I'll have full human skin for a few months, at least. Then it breaks down. Can you get something more permanent? Not unless a million limbs suddenly appear in my bank account. Yeah, I don't Would have a million limbs. Would you ever live as an android? Would you? I guess not. Thank you for your help. See you around, Pete. And an achievement to start the day. Lovely. Right, now we need to find our way up. There's a Humphrey Bogart ripoff. Let's 
So, from what I understand, we are about halfway. Well, just a little halfway. Well, a little before halfway. So, hopefully, by this afternoon, we will get past. Depends how much I go. Ooh, side stuff. Are you Huxley? The dame really came through. Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... Um, your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. Five, four, two, four, four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. Is that five, four, two, four, four? Let's get me all fueled up. Look, would you fucking stop hitting me, you bastards? Anyway, chat, how are you? You good? Yeah, you well? You alright? one there so straight down this road so hey look it's gone 12 minutes and we've just started and look where we're back <laughs> We're back here. Let's try that again. Uh, no. uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
Another achievement! There we go. I settled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. Hmm. I know, Camus. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta anyway? What happened to her? Sounds like a mispronounced it was a story pasta. so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest P.I. So, the debt corpse can abduct children now? The dame didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. I guess... <laughs> I guess her instincts were... Oh. Her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I'd played a role so well, I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. Bloody ow. <laughs> every time, every bloody time. Your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired, but that place was where I slept. So I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. <laughs> yeah, it's like, let's go find out what the note says, shall we? Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue, chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, are we? I, I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck a neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. Close by, Foul, over a thousand meters away. Time to fly. for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. 
Yeah, what go a on. Name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He'd paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You wasted my money. <laughs> you wasted my money, you wasted my time. You waste things. Asshole. Oh, wow. Less than 2% usage of CPU. And my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. Yeah, Camus. Just, just, just. There's no point, Camus. <gasps> New subscription received. Dispensing gratitude. Gratitude dispensed. JT. Fifty-six months, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much, dude. Yeah, it's going quite well. Thank you going quite well we're um we we, we have a humphrey bogart uh, uh android with us who's looking for someone's daughter who's just threatened to give him a virus if we don't find her in 24 hours well he doesn't find her but apparently that's my fault <laughs> and yourself dude so look the camera again. <laughs> this is the blue chew jazz bar, not the blue oyster bar. So you won't hear da 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 da. long enough. <coughs> are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He that sounds like me, day, overheating and underperforming. We went way back, but Jojo's <laughs> lips were back and sealed <laughs> tighter than... My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Not Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <laughs> Double negative. See, I ain't got long left. You can fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah. They don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Yes, you have. I see your arms. If I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for Pasta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. He could say he's I looking for Pasta's new. A few months back. The pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what with all the rust and all. While I was there. <clears throat> I overheard <laughs> this ex corp goon called Ragawan was there talking about how he got screwed over. And look, I don't like squilling like this. I need to put that back on. <laughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So, what does this Ragawan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, we put Ragu on past the guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Near 
of getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Ragohan says he's dangerous and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with, cause the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. No. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him. But he takes a drink. And through his tears, he keeps saying, Sorry, Pasta. Sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while. But with JoJo's help, we'd picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. <laughs> yeah, Huxley. Could say you're past the prime. He is still here. <laughs> Why is he still here? We're just taking him to one more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and <laughs> I reeked right. of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called oh. Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. <laughs> well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Come on, come Searching. on, bigger boy. Searching. There was a news story in the Mero Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing Corpsec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Oh, papes! I thought he said paps! You mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. Like, call a cube, there babe. is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us a nav point. Yes, nav point, please. Oh, over there. Right, oh, it's okay. Hey, kid, you busy? No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Yeah, no rush. Please get me out of here from this weird android. If this thing, right, if this android says he's looking at you, kid, I'm going to smash you with a hammer. I feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. It's Raguan, not Barbaran. <laughs> so what have you been up to, dude? What have you been playing? Now we have to find somewhere to park. Are they are, aren't they? Is that oh, you like puns, you say? Well. Money here of some sort. I can go up. Oh, I can't go up that, that elevator. Ooh. You just move. There. You've got, you're moving shit on your desk. Who? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, um, oh, what was that film? God damn it, my memory sucks ass. Adam Sadler movie where he's the uh, hockey player and go golfer. This was the place for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to... Happy Gilmore, yes, that's it. I couldn't ask the dame to do <laughs> any more. She was a class... Look, there's a piece of the shit like you for breakfast. Like, in city of <laughs> you eat shit for breakfast? Waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. No. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame <laughs> flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. <laughs> good luck, I guess. Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. Yeah, you, you, um... Oh, he didn't, so I don't have to smash him with a hammer. Yeah, go on, Huxley. Fuck off. Go on. Will he be okay? Go on, fuck off. I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go, on, go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. <laughs> yeah, quickly before he comes back. <laughs> Sir, they've taken Mr. Rimmer. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here before they bring him back. Hey, kid. Uh, you free now? Finished your coffee? Yep. My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower, labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Control out. Mr. Anderson. Andersons. Ooh, we've discovered a new part, and we got money for that. I'll, I'll take that. It's not a bad thing, eh? Yes. Oh, it sounds so much quieter now that that, that, that android's gone. You know, insert your own gin joints and all that bollocks. Mr. Anderson. That is a strange name. <laughs> I think it's an old name. Yes. Maybe the package will Good be dog. old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. Good dog. <laughs> there are so many more people like me here than back at the plateau. Here in Navalis, does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the atomic <laughs> do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different from the either. Received. The agricultural automata didn't even get breaks. Good Lord, in the in the fields the row. 24 hours a day. Yes, but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. Thank they you didn't cool. have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Oh uh, no, you fly the choice, car. Though, right? You do fly the car. I so. wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? It's weird no, though because you've got your right stick who does the elevation descending. When did they laugh at Left you? Left stick has just moved it around. All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have I to interact con. with them. And I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes. It's obvious that we're from a small town. <laughs> they can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. 
but I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. They yeah, are, Kenneth. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when it's I It's a stick-driven car, yes. I'm thinking about the people in them <laughs> looking down Flossie, on me. how well, you doing? What it feels like Welcome for me. in. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. Aww. How can good boy be alone? He even did the right joke that I, <laughs> that I did. It's great. Of course, you know, he didn't do the bad puns, but that's all right. How you doing, Flossie? Oh, no. I hope he feels better soon. Ow. Ow. Oh yeah, by the way, guess who guess which person has to have a sixth COVID jab? I mean Santa, yeah, because you know the amount of times he goes around big things. No. Bless him. So, six. My immune system is that shit. <laughs> when you can find her. <laughs> she was last seen in Boris's fridge. Driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk. No, no, we can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. I know. Great, come get your package. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. Oh, shit. <laughs> and how many are called Mr. Anderson? 1,000. What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. Of course Hello, they are. Hello, Michael. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or... Yes. Opening entry for driver 14FC from Cloudpunk only. So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. Well, I'm going to give you this package then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. <laughs> yep. Uh, but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. <laughs> I was going to say, nope, that's so, not up to see. me. <laughs> I just rip this flap and it's a calm, but a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Worth a shot. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Hey, it's you. Oh, come on. <laughs> More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. There exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does seem strange. Please, play the rest of the message. My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. 
This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason, to set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? Uh, what? No, we are not permitted to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. Of course he is. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. That's not really my problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. It's a complete mystery to where he's gone. More specifically, <laughs> Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am, but I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. Look, I don't <coughs> think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. She keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait! Can you do something for me? Oh, here comes a complaint. Maybe? Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Additionally, I would like to talk about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... <sighs> Can we see where this one's going? Being driven up the wall, maybe, yeah. All right, Mrs. Ms. Anderson. Ms. Anderson from accounts? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to. I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear. Oh no! Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. I don't nice. really understand anything you just said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. So the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. Oh. So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months, perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. 
I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? Yes. The financial simulation yes, will model the city and all associated variables. But the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. So, who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name. Cora. Cora again? Again, with Cora. I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? <laughs> yes. I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. <sighs> I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to... Quit. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? This one. This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. <sighs> well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. Yeah, right. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message. But I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. Oh God. Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Trekker! The will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Andersons' suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path. Hmm. What do we do here? Do we do we reset them then? I think, you know what? I'm going to leap them to their own choice because what is it to me? How, why is it on me to reset them to make them behave and believe like they once were? Yeah, break down the tower around them. <laughs> Smash the tower, blow it to bits. Yeah, I'm going to leave them. How you doing, Trekkar? I think it's time for the Andersons to step outside their tower and breathe the Navalis air. Say, it's not up for me. And if they're, they're, um, they're stuck. long time. I couldn't talk to you. Communication from the outside world is forbidden in the tower. They're what stopped crashing do? faster than a pound. I don't even know, Camus. This is a strange job. Will you be okay? I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. Who are the Andersons? It's a long story, Camus. I'll tell you some other time. The Andersons? We have a message. Text only. Oh, okay. Control? Rubric. Lomo's hacker. Is there any way to delete it? Pretend we didn't get it? We could delete it. And pretend we didn't get it. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. What does it say? <laughs> Come, collect a package for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. This is me whistling. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment, and they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Ah, bribing blackmails. And come quick. Bastard. Why do we never get good messages? Because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus, we'd better go. Give me a nav point for the roadhouse club. Roadhouse. It's like, who are the Andersons? Well, the Andersons are a bunch of wrestlers who look a lot like each other, but are not actually related. The most famous two of the Andersons are Arn Anderson and Ole Anderson. Ric Flair was apparently a cousin of the Andersons in storyline basis. Hence why the Four Horsemen. Yeah, 
<laughs> they might well be, dude. See, there you go. Whereas they have their their Andersons. That's how we know ours. Bit of wrestling folklore there for you. There's a collectible there, so I might as well go get it. Sort of person there. Is that Douglas the Postman? Hi, so what is your star sign, please? I don't know. Why do you ask? I am instigating a mating ritual. Tell me, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you hurtled to Earth from orbit? <laughs> do you mean when I fell from heaven? <laughs> Affirmative. <laughs> I I'm not really interested. Sorry. <laughs> I will find the required combination of vocalizations to entice you for romantic relations. I'm no expert on romance, but even mm. I know that's not how it works. Incorrect. <sighs> Please listen carefully to the following statement. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I would require the vowel U and the vowel I to be contiguous. Do you want some advice? Affirmative. If you want to talk to someone you like, <sighs> try asking their name. And introduce yourself, too. I am Douglas. Name, please. Nice to meet you, Douglas. I am Rania. Maybe try to ask questions in a less aggressive way. Rania, please touch my carbon fiber endoframe. <laughs> Why would I do that, Douglas? <laughs> because it's made of boyfriend material. Okay, that is a little funny. Oh, I'm dear. You're not what I'm looking for, Douglas. And I'm not even looking <sighs> anyway. Very well. I shall continue to be alone. Yes, you do that, Douglas. Oh my! <laughs> I mean, that was just yeah. You know, <laughs> So you don't ask someone to touch your endo frame. But what exactly is your endo frame? It sounds like a dick pic way to happen. Hmm. I wonder where the roadhouse is. I have no idea where the roadhouse could possibly be. Yeah, you can certainly appreciate this shit happening rather than just like three hours. Cord, we also made those gags as well about, you know, Mr. Anderson. Camus even made the joke as well, which I'm, I'm very pleased with. Yeah, rubric. Bloody white. But Patrick Swayze isn't Let here. Me past. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. If I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just jopping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. He left his package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Huh? You don't know? No. Well, Ugh, he's gonna tell not you. my diction. Hurry, rabbit. Gonna be late. Good, rabbit. Follow the nav point, please. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Camus. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the calm. You want to know what it is, don't you? No, You've actually. Been turning it over in your mind. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. 
To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying... <laughs> He's an oily git! <laughs> it takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. You know what Palad 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It's much more than a virus. Palad 1.0 affected computers, but Palad 2.0 affects neural augment. It makes autonomic bodily functions become conscious choices. It does not stop the individual's heart beating, their lungs breathing, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallid 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be conscious of every breath. They cannot sleep, cannot lose focus for a second. Oh, it's a Tiffany disease. Die. You made this virus? No, it is an ugly thing. An ugly way to die. Slow and cruel. But I created the economy around it. The subscription plans. The digital inoculation. I'll explain that one in a second. The cure. Insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallet 2.0, the last pure source code, stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in the Vallis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Quarantine it. There's a simple, unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample to a secure bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? To fight them, but also to manage the economy. If my associates were to infect a few thousand people with a low-level neural affliction, every individual would pay for a security upgrade. That upgrade would become a panacea. Everyone would install it. And the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave, leaving them untouched. Their lives would be saved. You know, this city has its share of monsters, but I think you're the worst. And don't forget it. I've given you the final nav point. Do your job, little rabbit. He is gone. We are alone again. Camus, is there a waste disposal near? One that leads all the way to the sea. Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan, and he'll use it again. What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread? The package says it is dangerous. It's worth it. Ugh. Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. Oh. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. Okay, yeah, let's chuck it down. Let's get rid of it. Right, okay, so the heartbeat bit, the Tiffany, the Tiffany virus. So let me feel your heartbeat. Let me hear your heartbeat. Tell, let me see your heartbeat. And if you know the song, well done, you're an 80s kid.
Right, now let's go and uh, dump this in the sea. You know, somewhere beyond it. Somewhere waiting for me. <laughs> JT will know the song. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have sin in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. Excoriate yourself before my mother, your mother, the all mother. Me, me. Stop pointing at me. Yeah, stop pointing you at me. You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Cora and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed! Don't you have anything better to do than shout at people in the street? Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. Repent! <laughs> Repent and suffer before the gaze of the All Mother! All right. Camus, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. Crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped <laughs> away the mask. Cora <laughs> looked down. And a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul. Gross. He shouted at you. He shouts at a lot of people. Not Corpsec, I noticed. Or the gangers over there, or guys in general. My knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women. Your knowledge base is not wrong, Kenneth. Yeah. Your knowledge base is on point. I mean, I got an achievement for it, you know. I also remember you had to be in one or two camps, either you fancy Tiffany or you fancy Debbie Gibson. There was no in between, you had to do one or the other. Well, I say do, you know, poor choice of words, probably. It was like when you were in school, it was like, you like Man United or not? You like Rangers? Whereas we all know in uh, football, right, the people that the fans of Man United don't live in Manchester. Oh wait, do I have to go down? Oh, I do. See, JT knows exactly what I'm on about. Oh, we can... Can we, can we sell Here's stuff? Here's what I can offer you today. Uh, oh, I could get a dress. A hip dress for special occasions. I could have. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs> At least you're not Jesse's girl. <laughs> That's it. Off to the oceans. 
swallowed by the seas as they complain across a thousand shores. Where did that come from, Camus? Yeah, it is just an expression. I can stop if it is annoying. No, I like it. Expressions, quotes, poetry. Go nuts. We are become death, destroyer of worlds. Let's hope not. <laughs> we will destroy worlds. Sorry, oh, conquer worlds. Ooh, that reminds me, Flossy. Oh, wait, hang on one second. The dame answered the call. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Huxley, you can't keep asking for help. I have to do my job. You're on your own. I hope the dame knew I wouldn't be calling if I had any other choice. Damn it, Camus, what should I do? I should leave him, right? I am not so sure. But you hate him. He is one of us now. A friend. Really? All right. Huxley, where are you? I sent the dame a nav point. I'm on my way. <laughs> Woman, you. <laughs> now, you see, now that, I like that. That's uh, that's good. I like it. That's top quality work there, Roof <laughs> Corn. Ooh. If you or anyone you know has augments infected by the virus COVID 2.0, you must inform CorpSec immediately for a mandatory... There's, there's, there's a couple of bits here I'm looking for, so I might as well try and get them, you know. Right, Flossy, as I was going to say to yourself, right, I hope you've read October. Oh. Um, Color Guardian's final boss thing. There is a glitch that you were talking about. I saw the glitch. Hmm. So pausing it at certain points stops the, uh,. Stops the shield regeneration. I hope so. Okay, the sound that little piece oh, bit there. The powers must justify themselves. Store the establishment back on the shelves. Excuse me? Hustle so pass like you don't hear me. Step over the homeless like you can't even see me. Are you talking singing at me? Another cog in the machine. Say you're a worker, but your hands are clean. Word life. Hey, I need to work for a living. They exploit you every day and you're thinking for it. One hand pats you on the back, the other's in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. And they reprogram me and mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think I end up dead. <laughs> seriously? They make you sing? Go up second, handle the truth so they make me rhyme. And I'll kiss them in the pros has had his time. That kind of impacts on your credibility. Huh, and that's the plan. But even if I have to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Huh. Maybe if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help. Just want you to look around. To see the people lying on the ground. I see them. I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad. Maybe Conrad Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on 3rd Avenue. Guidance? He knew. He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my sick. He said my flow. Has his ears ring. I see his point. Do you hear his trousers hanging down? Make good music, but we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop achievement. Can't stop, won't stop, stop the beat. Can't stop. 
everybody. To be done, feel united. Wow. Okay, where's this lift? There's a lift here, and I don't see it. It's supposed to be a lift there, I didn't see it. Couldn't see it. Oh, that lift goes further up, okay. So I have to go back down to go up. Dun 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 Let's see about using this lift then. This is so confusing. It's a bit confusing, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, there was a little hum there. There was before we were going to the old Mr. Comrade. So Remind me to start of a game called Walker, which oh I may be able to try and get if I can get that on the Steam Deck. Oh, oh, that'd be so good. Hey, you deliver stuff, right? Yes. Sure, when I'm paid to. Yes. I pay you. That's not how it works. You have to contact my employer. Seems complicated. How about I just pay you? Look, I can't just. How about I pay you up front? Listening. But I won't take anything illegal or dangerous. What's the package? My durable, my vestments, my tights, my rosaries, and my apocrypha sanguine, first edition. I have no idea what any of those are. Are they something to do with your religion? Oh. You mean my cult? You can tell by my robes. Yeah, I mean, no. Well? Just take them, deliver them to the compound. You know the place. Everyone knows the place. Here's the fee. If you make the delivery sometimes you want to go come back and I'll double it on my way and sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name um <laughs> yeah I was thinking how about you know you know um there's the um the signs the UK signs of the speed limit how about the sticker with that speed limit sign of 69.
See, that's my bit. The rest of the chat, feel free to answer that one. Because Flossy asked you as well. <laughs> you notice how Huxley was supposed to hurry to, but we're just taking our sweet time now. I recognize you. You got in trouble for fraud. You saw me on the Holovids? Yeah, I did. Something like that. I was sent to help you. Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. I think he's an anarchist. <laughs> he's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home to your apartment? Ah, did you get enough. another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. For grand scale fraud? A weekend on the street? It might be easy for someone like you to endure this place, but I have family in the spire. Oh, my heart bleeds. I'm not like these people. I, this is hell. No, this is hell. I can't believe Bop was going to help hell. you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. <laughs> well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. <laughs> A lead. Wait. That was very good. Didn't we? Did we speak about him earlier? Because wasn't it him about his daughter with pasta? Yeah, it made me do a, reg a bad ragu pun, yes. <laughs> The, the joke. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? No. Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No. I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, that is a cute dog. Well, let's be honest, you were never a cute dog. <gasps> but now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people. They just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Camus, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. <laughs> Construction helmet, motor helmet, officer, <laughs> helmet, helmet. Yeah, but that'd be fun to set at YMCA, I'm wouldn't happier it? happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Oh. I you were being mean to. by not saying he was What's cute. Really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Canis. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. Oh, I feel sad. Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Canis. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? 
I am not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. That's very wise, Camus. Hello, I Warden. How you doing? Be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. Another achievement. How you doing, Warden? You alright? I mean, after she just insulted her dog automata friend. All dogs are cute, alright? By saying that, by saying they're not cute, you're blasphemous. Oh shit, how, how is it over there for yourself? Did I see right there was a walrus on the streets of Florida because of that? What I heard though, Miami didn't get hit as hard because I know, I know someone who's who's in that area. Are we supposed to take things from people on the street? You know we're not. So why do you ask? I was. Confused. Yeah, that was. No, you were being my conscience and annoying. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just a lot of money. We have to take some risks. Tell me about these sons of sanguine. I can search the undernet. Too risky. Just the regular nets. News articles and hollow vids. Cult stole my baby. Sons of Sanguine recruiting pop stars by blackmail. Sons of Sanguine high priest disowns rebellious <laughs> daughter. A sanguine <laughs> Now there's a cartoon I haven't seen in a while. Food or drink was revealed to be a fraud. Caught eating a 40 inch pizza. You see why I avoid the news? So they're your basic loony cult. They say they are a legitimate religion. Of course they do. What is the difference between a cult and a religion? The entrance fee. I like that answer. <laughs> Greetings from the mother. Please put your finger on the scanning plate. I just need to drop off a package. I don't have a security pass or anything. The scanning plate, Pilgrim. I'm not a pilgrim. Look, I don't want to come in or anything. Can you just take this package, please? Or do you have a mail slot? The scanning plate, please. Fine. Just here? Ouch. Something jabbed me. Ooh. I'm bleeding. We just need to check your type. We are confident you are not one of the forbidden. You are? I'm not. Alert. Alert. Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. But I just need to... Alert! Alert! Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. Fine, I'll take it back. Talk about a cult. <laughs> They're a bunch of silly cults. Yeah, did you see what I did there? Hey! <laughs> Fine, we'll take it back to him then. Was it a bad idea to take the package? Yes. You get to say the four <laughs> sweetest words in the world. Let's go to the park? <laughs> That's five. <laughs> Go to the park? No, I told you so. Ah, uh, yes. Those are good, too. Let's just take this package back to Rotruv. Yeah. <laughs> that to be fair, at times, do I need enough encouragement? <laughs> so look at that message pick, because I did. Poor standing out in the storm, trying to stay on his feet. <laughs> they always do that, though, Michael, don't they? I mean, come on, really.
Ah, that's the big issue, isn't it? We don't want, obviously, the less death we have because of a hurricane, the better. Though it has been a quiet year for it, isn't it? Go to the park, I told you so. I mean, there could be a park called I told you so. Oh yeah, speaking of, I should be getting uh, Gary Delaney's book today. Uh, so I'll have Tim Vine's joke book. And Gary Delaney's one called Pundamentalist. Or oh, is it Category 5 when they call it a hurricane then? Star coffee. They didn't want it. You are of the forbidden type. I guess so. As am I. Aww. So they threw you out of their cult when they discovered you were the wrong blood type? No, they banished me when my type changed. I was given a transfusion after a hover crash. But if they gave you a transfusion, it would have to be the same blood type, right? No, they gave me the forbidden type. All negative. Ah, uh, I get it. And even after they kicked you out, you wanted to give your stuff back? It's not their fault that I was tainted. I've got to say, your religion seems pretty arbitrary about who it lets in. You forbidden types often speak this way. Well, me and you are the same as far as they're concerned now. You gonna give me the other half of the payment? No, they go what from the depression to storm, then hurricane. And it's like how he big the hurricane, how nasty the curry, hey, hurricane we got is. Paid, even if it was only half. Hey, you I know. Hope he is in another accident. Whoa, Camus, that's a bit much. Easy. He is bad. <laughs> it is not good to exclude people like that. Normally I'd agree, but in this case, the less people allowed in that weird cult, the better. Yeah. You gotta try and keep people away from cults. Being around bad cults is, is you know, not a good thing. <laughs> it both sets of the words. <laughs> Unless it's a cult of personality. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, ah fair enough, Cut size and speed. Call to the lamb, maybe? No, I mean to be fair, I haven't. Oh jeez, 150 seconds. Bloody hell. I think... Isn't it like the worst we've had is about 100 miles an hour here? Yeah, thankfully the Atlantic sort of like slows them down when it gets over here because, you know, we're already miserable as it is. The Atlantic goes, look weather, they don't need any more. <laughs> I know it's been battering the thing, me. It's been battering um, the Bahamas as well. Oh, we've had um, 
we've had tornadoes here. Not really big, massive, horrible ones, but we've definitely had them. That was the year before the Great Storm. Nineteen eighty seven. I mean, you could say that was not a vintage year. <laughs> I was going to go pick up some more stuff, and I was thinking Huxley's been waiting around enough. I mean, the quick, the sooner we actually deal with Huxley, the better. No parking here. When the nearest parking's here, so. That's where we'll be going next, then that we'll go through there. Oh, camera angle. Naughty, naughty camera angle. Naughty. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, November 4th, Extra Life, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. UK time. I will be playing Collecting Trophies because we were going by the Trophy Advisor on our PSM profiles. I'm going to try and get more than I did two years ago of 33. Now, if I get a trophy, it's normally 50 cents. If I get a platinum, that'll be $5. If I get another trophy level, that will be $10. This had better be good, Huxley. Wait, what happened to your arm? It was a good question. How do I tell the Dane that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, I lost an arm? We had to get moving. Got to get medieval on their asses. I gave them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. Raggy one, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were gonna come for their lunch. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry I said to pick him up. He is still very annoying. Quiet for <laughs> So you think Corsac is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected, but I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. So just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers, and if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks, too. That's why you called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? I wanted to tell the Dane that she was right, that it, that it would be easy. She thought I was asking for a quick journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. Oh, I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, what, you're missing limb? this one time, please skip to the point. It's missing limb. Cloudpunk. That was the name.
name of the company the dame worked for. They had some serious resources. Vehicles, contacts with society both high and low, and an up-to-date address list of almost everyone living in Nivalis. Oh no. Huxley, that could get me fired. If we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. Yeah. I've been thinking more about things. About automata and what we do. And? We need to help each other. Help each other be better. Like saving a little girl. Everything is so complicated in the city. You do something and it is a bit good, but a bit bad too. But saving the little girl is only good. I, I can't explain it very well. No, it's fine. I get it. It's nice to help people when you can, but I'm responsible for both of us, Camus. If I get fired, I can't even keep you in the Hava. Never mind find you a new body. I understand. I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. <laughs> yeah. Control, this is driver 14. This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read you, driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just need you to give me someone's address. You uh, know this someone? Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. You, you ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could uh, get deleted. Deleted? You're an android. Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? A girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. I don't uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, taken from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. Nope. I could have been that little girl. That's why I have to help. Growing up, the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Look, Rania, this isn't a normal favor. What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink. That's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. I am nervous. That was tense. Yeah, I wasn't sure he would... We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to for some me, but... No worries, dude. No worries. We'll catch you in a bit. Excuse me, I can't help but notice you have an artificial hand. Maybe you can help me find someone. Yeah? Who are you looking for? Someone who lost a hand. I found this in the trash. <laughs> well, I think you got the wrong guy, yes? I got this beauty last week. Pure titanium. Don't want no flesh. I'm going the other way. Did you go to the limb clinic? How would I find someone who had lost a hand? They're not supposed to just throw these away, right? Don't know. Don't care about flesh, to be honest, lady. Damn it. You really want to help? Maybe let me see. I know the body mod squad around this way. Maybe I can get it back to them. Some mothers like to keep their old flesh. Here it is. Well, damn! This is mine. Seriously? Yeah, it has my ring on it. They said they was gonna donate it to someone. Can I have it back? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I don't want to touch that. Can you just take the ring off and give it to me? I guess. Ew. Ew. Go. <laughs> Thanks, lady. You can keep the hand. Great. Have some limbs too, as a reward like. I really love this ring. Ew, I mean, it, 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 it's an achievement called the Handy. OK, 
Okay, Camry, you got to stop doing that. Okay, Camry, you've got to stop doing this. Don't grow up to be a used battery. Janus, the two-faced god, name uh, name for face obfuscation tech. Engineer, are you ever going to tell me your name? Sure. Call me a painter. You've given up then? You know, for a while there, I really thought I was onto something. I followed a lead down to the vents. Jeez. I didn't expect to but... find all these people. What was the lead? An old master control program. I found a data cable that stretched out of the city. It led there. What did it lead to? Nothing. I'd hoped to find some old rogue mainframe spitting out garbage to the main infrastructure subsystems. Maybe it would be as simple as turning it off, then on again. It wasn't that simple? <laughs> Nothing ever is. What will you do now? The city needs people who are trying to make things better. I know. And I, I might go back to work. I just... I can't see another disaster and feel that weight on my shoulders. Could I have stopped it? <laughs> Did I cause it? <laughs> it's it's too much. It's far too much. I understand. See you around, painter. See you around, driver. Another achievement. <laughs> I quit. Right, okay. Seriously. I mean, that's the major issue I have with this game, and that's the only major issue I have is the camera. Okay, so let's uh, continue. Continuing at the rate I'm going, I will not have this finished tonight. But that's okay, because I'm enjoying the game. I'm an order to stop by Corpsec. Are you sure it's Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. Oh. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on... Yeah, I don't think he's on official business business 
Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. I think we should call his bluff. That cop sec my ass. They are. <laughs> they could just run for ages. We'll talk to Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Camus. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. <laughs> Sir, I won't even warn you the first time. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Work in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors, caramel and anchovy, with cinnamon protein flakes, ready for the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films, Cyborgs Ate My Babies 3. Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on comm, it's just a text message. He says that Corpsec networks are down all over the city. There's a Corpsec security point between here and the Alexa Theater, but if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure Corpsec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Agent Rio is a yeah. kidnapper, maybe. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? Of course. I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? I'm impressed. Hey, Block 40, are you still fighting the system? Hey, it's Cloudpunk. Damn right we are. <laughs> We're fucking this shit up. How exactly are you fucking this shit up? We're making a motherfucking playground, dog. You know, I don't think I've ever heard any other gangs that talk quite like you do. What's the matter, Cloudpunk? Our speech too fresh for you? Um, no. Did you watch a lot of old movies, maybe? It ain't about what we say we're gonna do, it's about what we do and how we do it. I guess so. I can't believe you're making a playground. The corpse don't want the kids playing no more. We ain't gonna let them take our swings. You got a problem with that, Cloudpunk? With you making a playground for kids? No, I think it's kind of amazing. You hear that, Razor? She thinks I'm amazing. You're alright, Cloudpunk. You ever get yourself a small human? 
You bring them here to blind the swings. Fatting too fatting right, you fatting fatters. <laughs> right, we got about what eleven minutes. Uh, we, in theory, should be able to do this part of the story. No, let, let's let's run a test here. How long do you think that Huxley's going to go fucking on and on and on? We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend all right? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. So we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts. Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. We got failed neurolog men sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. Easy. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste and I'm going to be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30, so... Can we go? What's that? Oh, sure. Uh, whatever. Uh, get going. And don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. That was easy. We don't like you, fruit around here. I might as well get a collectible while I'm here. Got what? Four thousand four seventy. So no, no longer four twenty. <laughs> yeah, it's like um. I mean, he's not my android. Though, that's the thing. He's his own sentient being. That's watched to watch Casablanca one too many times in the African Queen. No, the African Queen was um thing, wasn't it? Um. No, it was Humphrey Bogart. All right, Peter. Got something to show us. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called... The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley! So, this was the client. I had pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit. But instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking... Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. Yep. It's a memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Wait, the corpse sec agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means he won't know we talked. Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous. <laughs> I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. 
It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. I'll see you around. You know what? It's just a shame that he's not a, a corp sec officer. The reason I say that is then I could be going, who are you going to meet today, Huxley Pig? Um. No worries, dude. Thank you so much for being here. As you know, I'll be here again tonight, around about half six, seven. Hey, uh, kid, I need you to know this next job. It's not personal, okay? It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Uh, reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. No, it's, uh, it's just because it's a bit big, that's sure all. It's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not... Because I'd have to shrink the box again, uh, the actual text. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is... Uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're it's because going because Michael's name is big. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So I'm a taxi now. Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance. Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hoffa. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find. But make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So at least one rich asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, but that's so right. they'll let you through the parade. It will change if but someone if gives inside, us a cheer. Just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. Because you'll notice on um, all three of them it'll be like that. It's two minutes to four. Let me get this. And then what I'll do is we'll get we'll get a bit closer to this point and then we'll carry on later on tonight. We've got to have money. <laughs> no, it, it won't do Michael because your name is long, that's all.
but it is something not to worry about in the slightest. But thank you for the bits, dude, anyway. I will certainly graciously accept them. Potentially just shrink it a little bit more and then it would fit. Right, okay, so we'll get back in the car. And that's what we'll call it. This has been fun this afternoon. I thank you, for, thank you all very much for being here. Thank you for the resubs, because the resubs have been oh, amazing. Thank you for the bits. So I'll be back tonight between half six, seven. However, also depending on what J Dub's new uh, thing me is, a new schedule is, I may put my first evening stream back to the 10 to midnight. Just and see, but yeah. That was really good. That was really fun. And I thank everyone for being here this afternoon. So, yeah, so. Oh, look. Oh, oh. There's been an update on Steam. Well, let's have a look. Let's see if anybody's on for a raid. Because a lot, of, a lot of people have been playing stuff that I haven't wanted to see of late, which is a shame. Let's see. Let's let's see if anybody else has been playing Cloud Punk. Oh, there's a stream starting soon. Cloud Punk. Oh, that's uh, thing me. That's a DLC. Don't really want to see that. Uh, not really. Not really. Not really at all. That's a shame. That is a shame. Ah, oh, well, we will call it there, and then we'll we'll be back on later. Um, what we'll be doing though is rather than go to see J-Dub because he's not streaming at the moment because of getting used to his new job and setting up our new schedule and all that good stuff we will go to Maelstrom Alpha who will be playing the last the last one of uh, Retro, Retro Shuffle he has five games left to try and complete will he do it? if he does this 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 lad here might actually do something for his for his, the the Vikings of Twitch extra life for them in terms of in terms of making a donation. Yeah. But yeah, you guys have a good one. I will catch you later. You take care. I'll see you then. Bye.